And this is a cruiserweight title fight with an intriguing fighter, Jai Opataya, an Australian, who will be defending his version of the cruiserweight championship against another Brit, Jack Massey. Heavy influence of British fighters on the undercard of this fight. Opataya, massive favorite on the, uh, the money line to win. No value there. How does he win? The how that we always talk about, Brother Rayfield. Does he win by knockout? Does he win by decision? The over-under, seven and a half rounds. Opatia's had a couple of early knockouts in title defenses. All right, size it up for us. Does Massey have a chance to make this a longer fight? Dan, what do you think? Handicap away. Well, to, to answer the question, yes, I do think he has a chance to make it a longer fight. Uh, but to get into the weeds, so to speak, on this matchup, Opatia, he's the bona fide, legit, lineal cruiserweight champion. He also has the IBF title. He's another guy that's being featured on Riyadh season cards. And by the way, we talked about in the last fight about all the guys in the heavyweight mix. Before too long, Jai Opatia is going to be in that heavyweight mix also because eventually, you know, I would think in the next year or so, he will vacate the cruiserweight titles if he continues to hold them. And even if he doesn't, he will also move up to the heavyweight division. So you can look forward to seeing his name in that mix uh, down the road. But in terms of this title defense... Look, he's coming off of uh, you know a, a big win when he had the rematch against Myrus Bradis, who was an outstanding cruiserweight champion. He had the fin, you know, he had won the title from him a couple of years ago. Uh, they had the rematch uh, on the card that was in Riyadh earlier this year. He won that fight, and now he goes into this defense against Massey. Um, some people, I think, out of some of the comments I've seen are, are very disrespectful to Massey. Um, now, while I don't necessarily think he wins the fight, I mean, this is not a this is not the the joke fight that the odds maybe portray it as. Uh, or that some people are suggesting. But it's very hard to pick it against Jai Opatia. He is the real deal. Uh, top amateur and now a top professional with some good wins on his record. And uh, all due respect to Massey, who I do respect, I think that Opatia knocks him out. Um, now, that said, you said the value is, is it over, is it under? I think he goes a long way in this fight. I think he gets past seven and a half rounds. Um, I look at his recent, uh, his recent past, and you look at his overall record and the type of guys he has faced. First of all, he's never been knocked out. He does have the two losses. But the two losses came against quality opponents. He lost a decision in a cruiserweight fight a few years ago to Richard Riacopore, who was a top contender, uh, who you know, was a, one of the top, definitely a top 10 cruiserweight. And the only other loss was uh, a couple of fights ago where he went up to heavyweight. And when Joseph Parker, the former heavyweight title holder, had uh, lost a fight to Joe Joyce, he went on. Uh, a very active spree where he fought several times over the course of the year. In one of those fights, he did against Jack Massey, and he won the decision. But Joseph Parker, a, a bona fide heavyweight and a top heavyweight contender uh, with knockout power, you know, he went the distance with him. So if he can go the distance with a top puncher at heavyweight, uh, to me, I think he can get past seven and a half rounds with uh, an excellent punching cruiserweight. So my my sort of viewpoint on that was I'm taking Opatai to get the stoppage. But I think that he's gonna gonna pound him out a little bit, but it's gonna take him a while to get him on the, you know, to get the fight to be stopped. So therefore, I'm taking uh, Opatia by the knockout, and I'm taking him also to go over seven and a half rounds. All right, interesting. Again, Opatia did have an, uh, a first round knockout, like you were mentioning, on one of these recent fights, but he also went the distance again with Bradis, who's one of the toughest fighters at cruiserweight in the last decade. What does that mean for this one? I like. Jai Opataya, I like him by knockout. I'm not going to mess with that over-under. I think it's about right at seven and a half rounds. So we lock it in. Look at what we have to lay for the Opataya knockout. The bet U.S. odds makers believe this is a KO for the cruiserweight champ. You'll take the over, better odds on the over. How do they come up with minus 141 as opposed to minus 140 or 145? I don't know. Could be a typo. But you know what? You'll cash it no matter what. I'll take it. That's minus 141 uh, on this one. Uh, and, the, and the one thing I wonder, because, again, you are much more plugged in. You are much more adept to answer this. Does Opatia have any future or chance to move up to the more glamorous heavyweight division, or is he not big enough and he's just got to be content to dominate around cruiserweight? I, I, think, I, think, of that? I think I had said that, that, that this is – that when we talked about all the heavyweights that were mixing and matching when we were discussing the last fight between Frazier Clark and Fabio Wardley, I said, get ready to add Jai Opatai to that mix because, yes, in the next year or so, next couple of fights, he's moving up to heavyweight. He's talked about it. It's a stated goal of his. The Saudis expect that. One of the reasons they continue to feature him on these cards is because they see him as another one of the guys that will become a player in the heavyweight division. He's got that swagger, uh, and there's no – no there's – zero doubt, win or lose, that at some point, Jai Opatai is going to be fighting as a heavyweight boxer. Where's, I mean, where's the money? 
we joke about this all the time on Bet US TV on all the shows. Uh, it's like Willie Sutton, the famous bank robber that kept robbing banks in the late 60s and the 70s, and the media finally interviewed him at one of his trials. You know where I'm going with the punchline. Willie, why do you keep robbing banks? Because that's where the money is. That's what, that's what he said. Same thing with Opatai in the heavyweight division. Where's the money? Where's the money on that? Lock it in one more time. Dan and I say Jai Opataya. He's got the knockout. I've got the knockout. He also takes the over in that 12-round fight, again, on the undercard of Better B. Evan Bevel from Riyadh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia. All right.